Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Mountain Spring Outdoors. Today I am explaining the anatomy of a fisherman. Okay guys, so when it is first born and stuff, um, this is a picture of a completely normal human baby child. Um, as it gets to about the age of five, that's when you're going to be able to tell if it's a fisherman or not. What will happen, see, is when it hits about three, there will be a thing that's located about here called the fisherman's disease. And it will start to grow from there. Um, usually it branches out to the dominant hand. So it would start going out to this hand and out to the other hand such. Um that but uh, one of the main things is before it goes out to any arms or anything it'll go out up to the head when the child is about five and it'll just keep growing and growing and growing it'll just keep growing and the connection gets stronger and stronger and then um, as it moves out to the arm it'll go out to the hands and it'll get a real strong connection with the hands when it's about seven. Um, it'll start moving down into the legs later on in its fisherman development. And then um, when it hits the age of about 11, that's when it's, or no, 11, maybe 15, that's when it clicks. It's either A, a bass fisherman. B, cat fisherman. C, a trout fisherman. Um, D, a crappie fisherman. Or, what's after D? E. Or E, a pan fisherman. Or is there any other types of fish? Or, if they're a little bit of a wild child when they're a baby, they will probably grow up to be a... X, which is an extreme case of ocean fishing. Like, I'm not just talking wanting to go on an ocean charter, and then I'm talking you are the ocean charter. Er. And then, also, about when it turns five, it starts using a closed reel, and that's, a, that's usually a child's first reel. And then when it hits about the age of seven, it is able to use a spinning reel and then from there when it turns about 10 it can either go the path of the bait caster or the spinning reel it just depends on type of child um, so let's say this child loves the spinning reel and is in love with um, bait casting Bait casters, and he loves to go catfishing. He's a catfisherman. Now, from the catfishing, we, we break it up into the catfishing families. Um, there is the family of flatheads, blues, or channels, or bullheads. And then there's all sorts of little ones all around the world, different species. Um, a flathead cat fisherman will tend to be a more mellow child, more of a... Not much of a go-getter, like, he likes to go out and fish, but he's not super insanely energetic, just like the flathead bite. Um, if he is a blue fisherman, he will be a little bit more of a crazy child, and, you know, you can sort of guess from there. If he's a channel fisherman, he will sort of be an in-between. He will love to just sort of run around and be outside. And he's not as much stationary. Like, he doesn't like to sit in one spot and fish as much. And then a bullhead fisherman, that's just a wild card right there. It likes to bite usually as a younger fisherman. And then as it goes up, you know. It usually is a shorter person too as well. Um, with a more vigorous attitude. And then... There are mixed species where you mix 
a flathead fisherman and a blue head and a blues fisherman and there are fishermen that fish for both species but more than less you find those people to be depressed because it's hard to be two attitudes at once no just joking um catfish and carp is a great example of a mixed person uh he likes all species of catfish, so he's a very mixed guy. I like him. Um, and then also, now let's move on to the bass family. Let's pretend this guy likes spinning reels and is a bass fisherman. He, it will depend. Is he a striped bass fisherman, a smallmouth bass fisherman, or largemouth bass fisherman, or it just really depends. A largemouth, hybrid, white bass. Uh, when it's hard for ocean fishermen, we usually, a bass fisherman and ocean fishermen, usually a hybrid would be a sea bass fisherman. Uh, kind of a one of those kind of guys. So, you know, that's a whole different. That's sort of like a branch off of the bass and ocean fishing family. Um, so he can be a large mouth, small mouth. I myself am more of a spinning reel, large mouth guy. I love large mouths. And then you can get into the whole bait family. Like, do they like top waters? I'm only going to go over two bait families. He can either be a top water or a jigger. Or like. So top water or like sinking. I am more of a top water person myself. I love the Rapalas and stuff. Um, I know people who are more blue fox and more of the sinking spinner sort of thing. Um, now let's move on. Ocean fishermen is the group that we're going to study next. So um, with those, you know, they love halibut. Uh, halibut. Oh, uh, tuna, wahoo, oh, what's some other ocean species? Cod, lean cod, I think those are the same thing. Yeah, they are, because they're both cod. I don't know, actually, what I'm talking about. I don't know much about ocean fishermen. I, myself, is not much of an ocean fisherman. And then, let's move on, because we can't really cover much on the ocean fishermen. Ocean fishermen will, like, big and bad. They will usually be big and bad themselves. And you notice, um, crappie fishermen and pan fishermen and trout fishermen don't have much of what, a, um, as the technical term they use, a potty mouth. Now, when we move more, bass fishermen are sort of the lowest rank than cat fishermen and then ocean fishermen. That's sort of like the level of potty mouths, like bass fishermen's pretty low, then cat fishermen, then sea fishermen. And yeah, we're not going to get going on this. That. And then we have our next group, panfish. Panfishermen. We're going to go over this one. So there's several types of panfish. Sunfish, pumpkin seed, bluegill, all that fun stuff. Um, we usually break it up into, if they're a smaller guy, they're usually going to like bluegill stuff. They also will usually not buy much. Uh, as you know, bass fishermen tend to be more in debt have or have bigger budgets. Pan fishermen are usually the common race and stuff. So we can't really cover much <coughs> on the pan fishing family. Let's move on to crappie fishermen. Crappie fishermen, they're usually bigger dudes. They're either bald or long-haired. Depends. Um, white or black crappie. Black crappie people tend to be people that like to fish with their hoods up, even on sunny days. White crappie fishermen tend to be the average race, since black crappie are kind of hard to find. Um, when it comes to crappie fishing... There's, I, I don't know, I could go on and on and on about this stuff, but 
I sort of either like the common run, like, if you're casting and stuff, and you see, eh, never mind, cut, crappie fisherman is the next group we're going to cover, and it is going to be a great group. Crappie fishermen are either bald or long-haired. Black crappie fishermen are usually more of the long-haired guys, but of course black crappie are harder to find than white crappie. Black crappie put up a little bit more of a fight. If we want to use the technical term for crappie, we will say slabs. Um... Uh, so, if the way that you measure a crappie is, actually, I don't know how you measure a crappie. Probably just by inches or pounds. I, I bet you'd probably use ounces, not pounds. Scale of ounces, not pounds. Pounds would probably be too big. Uh, for crappie, it also depends. You can tell, if, do they do like trolling or dock shooting? I don't know. If you're a dock shooter, you usually don't like to use bad words, or like you're not that much of a potty mouth. If you're a troller, usually more of a potty mouth, so it just sort of depends, you know? Also, we are going to cover white crop B in Beep Cat! Okay, guys, so. Now we're going to cover the crappie family of fishermen. Um, this is a weird, weird race. You are either long-haired or bald, or you could not. That's my experience. Um, with crappie fishermen, you either like a big pole or a tiny pole. Here, I have the Zebco 33 Authentic Z Glass Action. Um, this is a nice medium action. I think it might even be a small, medium, heavy rod. But, so it's a smaller rod, but that would be a crappie fisherman, like a normal rod for a crappie fisherman. Now, if you're a pretty daring crappie fisherman, you might use, like, this is a, more of a dock shooter rod, not a trolling rod. That's more of a troller's rod. If you're more of a troller, you're going to use a bigger rod. If you're a dock shooter, you're going to use something like this Shakespeare Micro Series with these tinier reels. Um, now, I think that's all we can cover. Now let's not forget the most important family, the trout family. I guess they're not the most important. I guess I should say, don't forget last but not least, the trout family. Uh, that. Stupid tape. Um, trout family, you are either lure or bait fisherman. And it also depends on where you grow up. If you grow up in more of northeastern places where there's more rivers, you're going to be more of a lure guy, uh, or you could float power bait. Power bait people tend to be, power bait and worm people tend to be more unexperienced in fishing. Just my personal opinion. Um, while lure fishermen tend to be more serious. Also, there is the fly fishing family, which we could go on about, but we don't have probably enough time. Um, the fly fishermen are kind of a weird breed. I don't think I've ever seen a fat fly fisherman, so there's that. Another thing, with, when if you're a lure fisherman for trout, you're probably more experienced, like I already said. You probably know more about the trout family. Um, can't tell if I did that on purpose or on accident. If, yeah, you're usually more experienced, like I've said three times now. You 
sort of know your lures a lot better. And there's a more of a range. So, more like a range. You can use a panther martin, a small blue fox, a rooster tail, you know. You have lots of options. With bait fishermen, it's, you know, either worms or power bait. And so, as a, if you're starting out as a fisherman, like a young, let, let's go back, if you're in the five to seven year old range, just getting into fishing, I would suggest bait fishing for trout, worms or power bait. It's easy and it's cheap. So, um, I think that that's going to be all for today's video. If you like these sort of videos, then please subscribe, like, uh, drop a comment. And I will see you guys in the next...